it's the real hardware, it's the real software, it's demonstrating the use cases that validate SVA as an effective architecture. On our high voltage interconnect family, we have our new uh, direct contact technology, or DCT, high voltage interconnects that have an industry leading power density as well as 100 times durability. Solutions that help customers better package the electrical distribution into the vehicle system. All of the high voltage and low voltage connections between all of the devices as well as our compute platforms. So all the zone controllers are connected to the CVC and the CVC is a master for the, for the zone controllers. The data that we can collect from this zone, the CVC is here to abstract it and convert that into a service-oriented communication that we can provide that to the applications that will come from OEM, from other suppliers, or tier one, tier two, and so on. I've been involved in the life cycle maintenance area. So that encompasses all the development tools needed to build a solution and the CI platform that's needed to continue to compile the code, run tests and deploy the application to the skateboard or the SVA device on the vehicle. We also can add classification capability to, to radar, which is also very interesting because usually it's only possible for cameras to classify pedestrians, bicycles, road construction zones and all the other type of, of things you see on the road. So adding those capabilities adds a really a new field for new applications uh, using radar. Um, so we now call that radar-based aiders. We have our driver monitoring system as well as our cabin monitoring systems and it's all intended to run on the OSP. And that's really the central brain, the central computer of the future SVA architected vehicle. And it really separates Aptiv, I think, from the rest of our peers in this market. It shows that we understand what's coming and we can deliver it.